Hey guys, this Thursday night at six o'clock, so this Thursday, June 29, 2003, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we're having a live at Country Bumpkins, Americana, and Redware, and Antiques. So don't miss it. This show is great. I decided to not cut it, just leave it long and let you watch this whole time that we're at Lainey's house looking at her collections with Alice there. I think you're really gonna enjoy it. It's worth the whole hour. So grab something to drink, put your feet up and enjoy. Oh. Hey everybody, it's Ann and I am here with our favorites, Alice and Lainey. Hi everyone. Hello. And today we're at Lainey's house and we're going to do a whole bunch of great stuff for you. And Lainey's going to tell us about it in just a minute. Hello everyone. Happy summer. Um, today I'm dressed very casual after changing for three times. But if you came over on my house on the weekend, this is really what I'd be wearing because I dress up more at bumpkins than I do. So very casual today, even my white sneakers that I cut the lawn in. So this is my outfit because you know I've been doing outfit changes <laughs> um, over at Ann's house and different dances. So um, after deciding, I just went very casual today. So I, I hope that you like it. This is me today. And I'm just going to pretend that you're all visiting with me at my home and we're going to have fun. So today I wanted to talk about baskets. So, and I wrote things down because I wanted to be kind of like an Alice. You know how she has her little index <laughs> cards? And I asked uh, Alice Oliver if she could make it today and she's going to help me talk about baskets. When I did research on baskets, there's so much out there. It's all over the place because there's so many different kinds of baskets. But I'm like, well, what kind of basket do I own? What, what did I find? So we're going to talk about that today. And uh, let me look at my notes. That, that's exactly, <laughs> exactly what I do. Except yeah, you put your glasses okay. on, don't you? Oh, I don't have any glasses. <laughs> so um, early 1800s going in the turn of the century, 1900s, um, baskets would be used for gathering, you know, vegetables, fruit, but also shellfish. You know, when we're talking about the Cape, Nantucket, all these wonderful places, they'd be quahogging, and I wish I would have brought a, a quahog basket home with me. Those are at the Cape. But um, I didn't think of that. So that was something that I enjoyed learning about. And uh, older baskets tend to be a little heavier, quality made. And um, I actually, at my other house, I always had this one basket that I'd carry in my cordwood with. And people were like, doesn't that basket break? And I could put like six, seven logs in this basket and just take it into the house. And so older baskets um, tend to be well made versus the one maybe in vintage, the 30s to the 50s. So we're gonna look at baskets and see how heavy they are. Of course, I love wire baskets too because those don't break as easy. And uh, farmhouse right now, I was looking at Pinterest and a lot of women are using baskets for storage and benches, of course underneath tables so baskets have really come mm. back and I'm saying well I never really collected baskets but now going through my house I, I guess <laughs> apparently <laughs> you did I do so we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna look at some of these baskets today of what I do own and um what I just brought home from uh I went to New Jersey on an adventure this summer and I went to an estate sale just and everyone's like you're just going to a estate sale in New Jersey I go yeah I'm gonna pack up we brought the trailer so um, Thursday which I don't know when you're we're gonna talk about this we're gonna do a live at Country Bumpkins and a lot of the antiques coming in are from the estate sale from New Jersey Wow and we're gonna do Americana also uh, we're gonna mix it up in a little uh, Christmas of July Wow Oh, yes, and I did another estate sale, uh, no, an online auction from Washington State, and this was like four or five weeks ago, and I bought many lots of redware, and I can't wait to go through it. It was supposed to be here for today, and it's arriving tonight at 6 o'clock, so it's going to give me a chance to go through it, and we're going to sell some of the redware pieces uh, Thursday Night Live with Ann. This is going to be so fun. So the Thursday Night Live is Thursday, June, I don't know, is it 28, 29? It's the end of the month, 2023. For those of you who are watching after that date, sorry you missed it, but we'll do it again. <laughs> yes, and we're, yeah. we're going to announce the, the shop live coming yep. up. So yep. hopefully people see it, and um, I'm hoping it's going to be a great night. I so it will be. 
All right, so let me explain. Always fun at Minnie's. Thank you. Oh, and we're gonna do a couple other things in the house today. Um, I went to. <laughs> it's the red wear. Four big boxes of redware. Four boxes of redware? Redware. All right, he as said as we you can get video. Mike inside, we're good. So oh. Everyone, uh, my redware is here from Washington Yay. State. I just had to sign. He's saying there's four big boxes. Wow. So, so I not, can't wait to see We're not really going to see it during no. the, the video here today, but um, like it, yeah, we can bring it right here. It'll be like Christmas for me. Awesome. You are the best. Thank you. This is while we're out here waiting too. This is a new bench that came off of the estate from New Jersey. Oh, uh, this will oh. be going to Bumpkins. I just uh, I haven't brought it in yet, so I'm just enjoying it. Wow. And this is an old um, chair and that I'm letting it just weather. Uh -huh. And I keep coming out and I use a brush on it. Mm. And I'm trying to get all the chip paint off because mm -hmm. I'm in love with the original color underneath. Oh, nice. Don't mind all my flowers on the ground and stuff. Yeah. But um, I'm trying real plants this year because I'm not a green thumb, but I'm trying to keep these alive. Very I nice. I love the way this is uh, constructed here. That's a solid bench. Mm -hmm. Yes. Really nice. Yeah, that's beautiful. beautiful. So it just hasn't made its way to bumpkins yet, so I'm just enjoying it. And this is like Christmas. Oh color. my goodness. Oh, would you want the door open so that you guys don't get stuck here? Um, <laughs> do you want it in the oh. house? Um, yeah, we yeah. Can, I can bring one in. Yeah, go ahead, bring it in. Right. So like that, yeah, I don't, don't want mind. you guys to be in at all. all right, it's thank you. heavy for us, and he's yeah. he can do it. I see that. Alice, I'm going to push this this way. All right. Yeah, this is right. This is heavy. This yeah. is probably at least 50 pounds. Yeah. And this is all red wheel. This is Lainey oh. happy. So yeah. my dining room's kind of empty right now. Some of the hutches because I'm going to pick a couple pieces to keep, of course. And that's Lainey lifting 50 pounds. Whoa, that was effortless. <laughs> In the back side. <laughs> oh, that was effortless. And this is the UPS man lifting 100 pounds. <laughs> wow. Sorry, it's a tight fit. Oh, that's in, all right. You know. Do you want me to take the top one? No, I got you, honey. All right. No worries. Thank you You're for being so gentle with them. You never know what's going to happen. You never know what's going to happen. You never know what's going to happen with the three of us. Thank you so much. I know. Have a great one. Thank you. Hey, you too. No problem. You too. Oh, wow. Good thing I already... I already uh, did this room. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Wow. wow. So this five is all, boxes of red wings. So I wasn't kidding. This is the um, the auction that I did online, and um, they call lots. Maybe I'll stay here overnight. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I was just thinking I'm not leaving until every it's box been, is unpacked. It's going to be tight because um, after I do this video and we go down to the condos today, yeah. um, I don't know if we'll break up uh, the videos. Yeah, that'll be another day. But I am jumping in the truck and I'm going to Pennsylvania tonight. You are? I'm going goodness. to shop some warehouses tomorrow for handmaids and I'm going to a show Wednesday morning. And then I'm heading right back to handpick the rest of the things that are going up to the shop live. For Thursday. So for Thursday. Do so you very busy. anything else in this week? No, this everything. Just, Energizer bunny. Just if we get a sandwich or something, we can fit that in. But, uh, <laughs> and I'm traveling alone this time. Really? Yes. Yeah, so I'm venturing, and I haven't ventured out because um, I had an incident where the truck broke. Mm -hmm. I was very nervous, but I, I'm trying to stay positive, and I'm, I'm traveling and I'm going alone. So Pennsylvania. You're driving yes. to Pennsylvania alone tonight. Tonight. After doing all these videos oh and hanging God. out with us, and you're going to Pennsylvania. Yes. You're amazing. So maybe I am in the right outfit just to get I in the car. So. And, yep, and I think so. I think so. And you yeah. got the house already. Yeah, and I got the house ready. But they, that was, well, this mess, this a mess. I want everybody to see, like, everything's not perfect in my home. Things just, oh, this is the area of the house that gets the messiest. Uh -huh. Because when I'm ready to bring something to sell it at Bumpkins, it gets gathered here. Sometimes you can't even see this. It's yeah. like this is full, and that's where I grab my stuff in the morning and load it in the car. And I, off I think we all have a room like that. Yes. Now, I know when you come to my house, it looks like no one lives there. Right. But you should see my dining room. Okay. And then I just throw things in the closet or yeah. you know, in the cupboards or in desks, and then it 
Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And today we're gonna um, we're gonna do what's called behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people who do their videos don't show you what's in the cabinets or the cupboards. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna I'm gonna open. And you won't see it at my house. <laughs> <laughs> Mine either. Today, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give it in, and um, we're, we're gonna open some doors up in this house and see what kind of junk Lainey has and, and where I hide it, and and that's it. Because um, my daughter has said to me numerous times, Mom. Is it going to become a museum? And I don't think the house I is a museum. No. Um, it's clean for the video, but mm -hmm. the house is very much lived in. And I won't, I mean, we broke something this week. Things are going to break, a basket. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I was sad for a couple seconds ago. Okay, move on. Let's go. <laughs> but, yeah, there'll be another <laughs> basket. You got to enjoy it. I, I did. So, so, so um, anyway. All right, so today I want to start in the foyer. So I went to Walker Homestead. I loved, loved the show. I had only been there once before, but I really had a good time there. And when I was there, I fell in love with this wall cabinet. It's like a pewter grayish kind of, what do you think, Alice? Colonial blue? Yeah, I think it's so. Uh, well, I see more blue, Me but too. it's probably a blue gray. But it's yeah. very, very heavy. And it's this is probably one of the most prim pieces I have. So um, I had a, a red cover here, which I moved, and we're going to see it. It's near my bathroom now. But I don't want to put it on the wall because I change up so yep. much and I'd have to put heavy screws and in. it's such a nice size to put on top of another piece. Exactly. Any piece, a table or anything. If I had gone to Walker Homestead, I would have bought that. Just so saying. I saw Lainey leaving Walker Homestead <laughs> as I just uh, got there. Uh -huh. And I wanted to go to this one because I don't know that I'll make the fall one. The weather was fine. And when you come to my house next, I'll sure I bought these fabulous pewter candlesticks from the 1600s, but that's another story. And it's really about Lainey, and I don't even know why I'm in the video. Because it's not Lainey's house. And this is how it happens. We get together and we just start talking and we're just interested in all the same things. We are. So when I was there at Walker, um, I went over, because I'm obviously in love with redware right now, as you can see with the boxes coming in, and I purchased redware. Why would I, why would I buy something that I have uh, at least 70 pieces sitting? But I met these wonderful people, and I have this little card, and they're called the uh, Pied Potters. I know them. Yeah, and they said, you know, exactly. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So I, they, they do. They have yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous things. things. So I had to go over across touch their things and um, say, uh, is it okay that I mention that you red wear on the, the show? And they said, absolutely, we love Anne, so hello. <laughs> and then when I came home, I said, well, the bottom is a little bit bigger down here. Let me find red wear that's the same color, and wouldn't you know, I own a piece of the pottery, and he showed me that they stamp it with a cat paw. Uh huh. So, I'm sorry, my dog is scratching at the back door. She wants to be part of this video. So, and then um, I'm learning about, um, I would just call them smaller jogs. Well, Alice, what's the real name of these? O o Ovoid? Ovoids. I think they are the ones that are, I don't know. I love that. It's, yeah, it's ovoid like. Some of them are kind of short and squatty, but maybe this is the ovoid part. I, well, what cute. cute I, so stuff. I've been kind of collecting smaller jugs yeah. and not selling them at Bumpkins and keeping them for myself. And then this is um, older uh, yellow wear, but with the rim. And I just learned a little bit about this at another show that I went to. I think it's called The Quiet Corner. And I said, I think I have a couple pieces. This one just came off my New Jersey estate sale. So I added it and I actually own four pieces. So it's a small collection, but it's enough. I have too many collections. No, you don't. Never can have enough. So uh, no. Alice is making me feel better today. Yeah. One lane, you can never yeah. have enough yeah. collections. I'm never feeling enough. sad because I don't have any collections now. Oh. Well, you want to be minimal. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but now I'm starting That's to say you have to and then I have a new collection over here. These are my crickets. I didn't know they were all called crickets. I would just call them like little benches. And they, they're not perfect, but... And then I, I picked a red one because I'm trying to do Americana. Um, I just wrapped this banner coming down the staircase. And then I said, I want to match something with this on the other side of the room. So I had these... Um, antique gray pewter kind of well mm -hmm. colonial gray again so I just threw this here to, to match the color off that cabinet and then I was thinking because everyone's still calling me and saying do you have candlesticks um 
hog scraper candlesticks. And I don't, I have repros. I, I think we have two or three coming up for Thursday night show. So I kind of gathered mine of what I, I personally own and they're right here. And I want to show you when you don't have a lot to decorate Americana. I don't, I don't have a lot this year, believe it or not. You can take a red piece, put it in front of the, boom. You could do like a little red candle. You could do a timer with stars on it. So without spending a lot of money, that's my, my tip, Lainey's tip of how to decorate without going crazy, spending a lot of money. And you can see how I, I just pulled in like uh, the box. Oh, this is new for me. This is a uh, this is uh, a raggedy junction. It's the uh, the movable uh, candle. Yeah, I love that. So again, I was trying to get the colonial vibe going through. Mm -hmm. That one feeling. And this is of course is an old box that came off uh, a very old ship. Really? And, uh, yeah. So we're gonna open this today and see what kind of junk Lainey <laughs> keeps in this box. Are we ready, people? And uh, so we got a, we got cups. We got cups for coloring Easter eggs. But we don't do Easter eggs right now. We do dinosaur eggs with the grandchildren. And I just got some random apples, a bobbin. But look at this. You you close it up. You, you don't even see anything. No. Nope. Yep. And we got a little mini basket because mm -hmm. Lainey's got problems with baskets right now. So um, that's what I wanted to show you. So why I'm talking about this cabinet first, Anne, yes. is the red cabinet that I moved is now empty and I want Alice to decorate it for me today. So we're gonna play a game. Ba -ba. And, and Alice <laughs> is gonna go through my cupboards. She can steal anything she wants off of anything in the whole house. And I didn't know anything no, about this I until I walked her. in the door. So I said, let's, let's just play a game. Okay. So, let's play a game. Um, so. So Who knows? we're going to show the cupboard empty before what I've decorated at the top and then what it's going to look like when Alice is done. That's so, so cool. I hope everyone <laughs> likes that today. Yeah. And we're going to do a reveal too behind this door today. Oh, like, are we? What does Lainey keep in this door? As you all know, I have two grandchildren. I'm loving vintage toys. So this is their toy closet. Oh, I see things I played with as a child. Exactly. Or as a child. The cash registers, the the little um, desk, and then I don't, I can't organize it because they just get in and rip it apart anyway. I think it's organized. I think it's really organized. I do too. So, and they do have a playroom upstairs now, but I still have to have this downstairs when I want mm -hmm. eyes on them. Mm -hmm. I just tell them go in the closet, take it all out. Mm -hmm. So in this, I did a basket collection with, you know, I love watering cans. Mm -hmm. So this is some of my baskets. Alice, you can jump in. This is a repro by Jens and she makes baskets for Sturbridge Village oh. and she does bee scaps. Oh. I don't know if she, she's still doing them, but I know she did. Mm -hmm. And they're called uh, Jens baskets. Mm -hmm. This was one I just got from an estate and I just threw a little plant in it. Cause again, you know, I don't have the best green thumb. And uh, so these are some of my baskets. Beautiful. So, and in here I did some redecorating. I know Ian had said to me, I see a lot of new things. This cabinet I took out of my bedroom a month ago, slid it down the staircase myself on a rug. Mm -hmm. No wonder I yeah. think I have a torn rotator cuff. Yeah, I would do that, <laughs> but not now, but I've done that. So um, I'm trying to collect all my pantry boxes and trying to get a grip on how many I actually own and when will I stop collecting. You should have a contest. <laughs> you know, how many, take a guess, how many pantry boxes I actually own? <laughs> so, and New Jersey Estate had one pantry box and I just went across country to get it. And I, I did get it, so I'll talk about that one too. And then I'm gonna have you peek at this cabinet. I wasn't in love with what I had in it because you couldn't see things. Right. So I pulled it all out and I started putting my yellowware in to see how much I have and can I part with any of it. And Alice is gonna help me uh, part with some pieces. Wow. That'll be at Bumpkins this week. Wow. So I'm gonna let that you might just be hard. Alice, I'm gonna let you okay. talk about this while I just let my dog okay. in real quick. It's too hot outside. So. Lainey got, did you get this at an estate sale, Lainey? This fabulous bowl? I went to auction for that one. Uh, it's so heavy. Oh. And let's flip it over. Well, come close up, Ian. Let's okay. see the, it's one piece of wood. Mm, the nice Beautiful pack. trencher. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So who knows what was in here? Right. What, what, you know, chop marks and all that. Mm -hmm. And it's really heavy. So is it walnut? I don't know. I think walnut's a heavy. 
I think Wilma is heavy. I'm like, okay. So. Oh, man. Yeah, look at that. That's beautiful. And, I mean, it has a little crack, but there's no repairs. The little handles are built right into mm -hmm. it. So sorry, Xander wants to get in the video. <laughs> I say, but Xander could be in the video. And Lainey said, well, what should I put in here? And I go, nothing. <laughs> nothing. Because it's really just a piece of yeah, art as nothing. it is. But you certainly obviously can fill it seasonally with things. But just I, that is so beautiful. I think for fall, I'll probably put in... Um, uh, gourds, obviously, and yeah. pumpkins yeah. and Raggedy yeah. Junction. Yeah. I love her pumpkins that she just came out with. Uh, we'll show that at the open house. Christmas, I mean, okay. if you had a lot of um, ornament, you know, old ornaments, maybe some larger ones, you could do that and tuck greens. It's just, but like I said, it's just so beautiful the way it is. I and always do unique. empty bowls, and it's then I tuck things in, and then I look at it and I go, oh, clutter, and I take it out again. <laughs> So you and I are on a different path right now all together. I'm more like, where can I actually fit this and, and can I afford it? And uh, do I, and what do I have to get rid of? Because that's always a problem Yeah. when you're a collector. You still like to buy and, and then you say, well, something's got to go. Right. So what, you mm -hmm. know, but. So, and this was a new piece that I got down in um, New Jersey. It's a little um, hook rug. There was a lady doing hook rugs at Walker Homestead so oh, yeah. selling yeah. the wool. Yeah. I, I fell in yeah. love with that. Yeah. And yep. I'm trying to sell more wool at Bumpkins right now. Mm -hmm. I'll have a line coming out for the fall. Mm -hmm. And then this is a new picture I bought at that house. So this is um, a Warren Kimball. Oh, yeah. But what I liked about this one is that it's on a canvas, and I've never oh, seen one. It's wow. it's crackled. It's on the canvas. I'm like, I don't think it's like a real, real one, but it's a it's a very high end repro. And on the canvas, you yeah. don't see them yeah. anymore. And yeah. I'm telling you, things that were done maybe in the '90s or the mm -hmm. 2000s, the quality of the stuff. It's very hard for me as a store owner to find the good quality to keep selling. So I I just hope these manufacturers just keep trying to find good good things and the thing so with, I, like I don't know when this one would have been um made there's no date on it right Maybe? no but I, you know i think it it has um it we don't have to take it off the wall it's all right because okay. this is real life no this one's not, not signed up. but the thing about these right. even Fallen. if they were from the 90s yeah, let me feel this they're so current. Yeah, it's not. Well, yeah, I see. It does look like canvas on a board. It's not yeah, stretched it's, canvas. It's something. Yeah. It's yeah. definitely. I've it's, never it's had it. It's really before. ageless. Even yeah. if it was from the 90s. No, it's not on a yeah. board. All right. Yeah. You know, so you could have bought it in the night, but still, it's still current. That definitely is. Yes, still yes. current. Yeah. I mean, a classic. As it's I guess it's a colonial As sort of seen. with a flag so i classic. like these tall plants in the window i love i love the scale of them i really do yeah. and, I, and i don't have to water them i don't have to think <laughs> no, about them i, I don't have that. to dust them but yeah. all right so so we're, we're moving on and i kept the, the mantle simple i just put a red and a blue up uh the what are these finger pantry boxes alice what are we calling these shaker boxes yeah. Yes. Finger jointed. There we go. There Finger we go. jointed. Um, I just went with the red and the blue. I love the bench under it. Thank you. Well, so, I like all the things. I like the so th these are, and these are new things. So I'm trying to talk about like maybe some new things that I haven't shown before. This is one of the new baskets we're going to be talking about. And these are all dried oranges, pomegranates. Um, so I don't know, I, I guess I'm just in love with gathering baskets right now. And then I, I had a uh, collection of ducks. I didn't know how many ducks I had. So um, we're, uh, I just put the ducks out here. I love looking out this window. Um, I don't go out on this side of the yard very often, but um, it just gave me a nice view that I could look outside in my yard. I'm just trying to enjoy things here. Uh, Do you more. use the little chair for your grandkids? Yes, this, we use this at least four or five times a week. This is going to be, it's empty for my new redware. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> I, I had to clear something out um, for the new redware, but um, the girls fight over this now, and uh, we call this the big uh, girl chair. And we just pull out another chair, and it slides right in. It kind of matches the chair. It does. And, it does. Totally. Um, 
And that's it. it. It just goes to the table. Wow, that's so cute. so cute. So I used to hide it in the dining room, and I'm taking it out three, four times a week when they're eating over. I'm like, this is crazy. Mm -hmm. It's just it's become part of the kitchen now. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's new. All right, so now I'm going to talk about a bowl that I went to all the way to New Jersey for. Uh, you know I love bowls. I probably I love bowls more than firkins, I guess, and I I love them. I, I guess more than baskets. So this is like, again, a colonial grayish blue. It's got the mend on it mm -hmm. and it's old. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is one of my favorite bowls now. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't know, maybe I should like, like put it out to really look at. I don't know, I just kind of. Yeah, you know what is if you have a, a box, not a too big one, you can put them in like that, you know, put another one here, another one, kind of stack them, and you put them in the middle of your table. Right. And I, I do I see do the you. bigger bowls in the dry sink in the dining room. Mm -hmm. I don't, I think you showed that, Anne. Yep. But okay. see, you have all those beautiful colors over there. And yeah, and that one's a little bit so bigger, beautiful. so I'm still trying to find a home for that. Mm -hmm. And then I, I found like little natural small ones, but again, I don't want to go too crazy with different collections. So I may part with some of these things shortly mm -hmm. and because okay. I, I've moved on. So to you'll just tell me which she's giving collections you, you want to kind of downsize. Right. And then we'll go from there. Yes. And it's okay. going to be a surprise for Thursday. Okay. All right. All right. So, um, yep. And now we're going to go back over and we're going to talk about the baskets that I found in New Jersey and the man that I met in New Jersey and kind of fell in love with. So when I, I called the estate sale and I said, I want to come down with Country Bumpkins, he was really nice to me on the phone. His name's Eddie. So I kind of told him about our store and what we do, and I'd want to come down there with a trailer. They were very nice to me. Even in the house, they gave me a room. It was a big bathroom. And things that I just collected, they would come over to me, and I guess I didn't know at the time, but the workers were his mother and father. They've been doing this for a long time, and uh, they would just take the items from me and run it and put it in the bathroom for wow. me. I couldn't believe this. Mm -hmm. And Tim did shopping for me too, but while I was in the house, we'll get back to Eddie, while I was in the house, they had big hutches. And you know, I'm as tall as a sunflower, but I'm not that tall. And all these women were like looking at the baskets. I go, Tim, I think those baskets might be worth money. Again, now I've never really collected baskets, I'm like, can you grab them for me? So, and when you do it in a state seal, you know you don't have time to like, no, really go, oh, not. Google it, I love it. No, no this is how you think, think I like it. it. You, you throw it, it, and, it and they're running. It, it gets kind of, and that's, if people ask me what's the best part that you love about owning a store, I had to think about it. It is the hunt for me to go find something that someone else is going to love, that's something new at Bumpkins, but also something that I might find a new treasure. Mm -hmm. It's like a, a natural high, and Alice is it smiling. Is. She knows I know what all about it. So I finally found out what I really, out of 17 years, what's my favorite part is going hunting. It's and the hunt. It, it's the, the hunt. Really it hunt. Yes, it, it is. It's almost, uh, I talk to a lot of people, they go, it's a, it can get to be like a disease. Yeah, it yeah. Is. But it's a nice addiction right and when I'm in there I don't mean to be rude to anybody but you can't talk to me like she, I, oh God, I see this one in action I'm fast too <laughs> and I'm, I'm fast <laughs> and I'm like okay they got the truck it's backed up they got stuff oh this is my fifth trip Get, I mean they got the system going and if you know it's really good when I'm saying <laughs> holy how much did I spend? Can I afford this? Did I go over? And Tim's like, at this point, you're here. We have the trailer. Don't think. Just buy. If you like it, most likely someone else is going to like it. it. it that's exactly so, right. um, yeah, yeah. So I really had fun. And um, these were the baskets up here. Um, and I sold a couple already at Bumpkins. I let a couple go. But these, I believe, are all gathering baskets. Um, at the top and I did get this greenery at the house so I wanted to bring something back to represent this woman's house and then I found this little little yellow basket and I didn't know anything about it and the more I kept looking I go I think this is really old I better take it home and do research and this is probably one of the most expensive ones out of my whole collection because it's original old paint 
and I'll probably pull it out at fall and, and maybe do mm -hmm. some mini gourds in it. Yeah. Um, I was going to sell it. It had a tag on it, but I don't think I'm going to part with it right now. I didn't know where I was going to put it, so it, it made its new home right here for now. For now. So these, uh, I, I really like these. This is Lainey Happy. Oh, yes. some, so some you baskets. Know, you know I don't know what to say. The best thing, problem. though, is when you go to estate sales. So you buy for the store, but then you buy some for yourself. And while you're, you can keep it for a while and love it. Yes. And then you can bring it to the store. So that's another fun part of it. Because you can't keep everything, but you can keep it for a while mm -hmm. and love it and look at it and then let someone else. And you know who said something it. to me years and years ago was Karina from Burnett Antiques. Mm -hmm. When I had a booth there, she said, you're not ready to part with it. Romance it for a while. I'm like, romance what the it. That's heck is perfect. Just like romance that. it for a while. And yeah. she's right. Yes. That's what I'll do. I'll take mm -hmm. it home. I romance mm -hmm. it for a while. And how you know I truly love something is when I never want to let it go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Well, and then sometimes when I'm not sure if I want to let it go, so I'll bring it to the store and I'll I'll put like a price that maybe I think. It won't be bought, but, <laughs> but that never seems to work because then it gets purchased. But at that point I go, then that was fine to let it go. Mm -hmm. uh, but if I put it for a lesser price, I really wasn't ready to let it go. But then I figured the right person came and bought that piece. Right. And you've also told me in the past when you've been at my house, when you clear out something, after a week, you don't even know it's gone. You don't. And you don't, you have to, you know, like, we'll declutter later. And you're going to say, did we take anything out? Exactly. That's, yeah. So I'm going to, I'm going to declutter today. I'm going to declutter 15 items. And, she, and then she's, they're going to be gone and you're not even going to know it. And I'm, I'm going to be happy that they're going to a, another house that someone probably, I'm hoping that's going to love them as yeah. much as mm -hmm. I. Because that's what we do. We pass the things we love on to new people for them to love them. Mm -hmm. All right. So let yeah. me move over to these two baskets okay. here again from the same estate sale. Just so stinking cute. Like the old, I love old. The whole wood handle. And this one's kind of crooked. I know. That but is, that's. That just endears it to you even more because it's not perfect. And these were all handmade, um, studded, uh, what are they called? Oranges, Oranges. For like Christmas. And they were made by a company called Steins. I can't find Stein anywhere. I don't think they're making them any longer. So I just threw those in there for now. And then she just had this with a, like a simple little flower in it. So cute. And uh, I, I hate to say I use the word stinking, but it, it, to me it's stinking it's so cute. cute. I'm on the word stinking cute right now. You know when you see just see can a little baby? Can we just look at the yeah. bottom of it? Just right. Yeah, do whatever you want, Alice. Okay. Oh, it's adorable. Really cute. Some of them are sort of like indented a little bit. And sometimes they have little feet and... Yeah. And I don't have one here, but it's called the, the buttocks basket. Mm -hmm. Am I saying it right? I think so. And um, I already had one at the shop and it sold. And we're going to talk about painting baskets because now we've talked about if you're doing print, this is what I loved and I'm planning this for the show. Maybe you can't afford a hundred dollar basket. I don't even know what this basket's worth, mm -hmm. but let's say this is a yeah. hundred and this is 50. If you're mm -hmm. just starting off saying, I want to collect baskets, I can't afford these. Right. What can we do? I have found baskets that weren't painted and that they're vintage and I looked them up on Pinterest. You stain them first and then you take uh, paint and you hand brush it. Mm -hmm. Well, I have at least eight or 10 that were hand brushed for the, our viewers mm -hmm. and they're around, I think, 21 to $28. They're a great price point. And you know when And you, they look prim. And that kind of goes right into what we talked about, how to start your prim Yes. Uh, decorating journey yes. with items that are that you can afford that you can make look mm -hmm. uh, the way you want them to look. Mm -hmm. Right. And remember, and quickly. I, yeah. I've been collecting since I was 18. I didn't even mm -hmm. know I was collecting or I liked Prem. Me too. I've been yard selling for a very long time. And when I was 18, I'm telling you right now, I didn't have any money. So when I went to that yard sale or an estate sale and I found something affordable, mm -hmm. I was thrilled. And I, I want you to, everyone to continue doing that. And that's how I found some of these mm -hmm. treasures. And I, I've hauled things across the country for everyone. Mm -hmm. um, but I have things in here that aren't prim, that are maybe just country that I love, that aren't 
old, old. And I'm going to show you some of my baskets too mm -hmm. uh, that I love just as much and maybe they're not worth as much uh, value-wise, mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean that I don't love them right. as much. Mm -hmm. Right. So we're, we're going to talk about that in, mm -hmm. in different kinds of baskets. So I'm going to just pull another one. This was another one that I found. Again, it looks very old to me, Alice. We can look at the bottom of it. I mean, I don't know a ton about baskets, but it's just, it's hand yeah. done. And yeah. you can see how they yeah. pegged it mm -hmm. right here together. Mm -hmm. And hopefully some of your viewers will, will know or maybe make yeah. comments to you, Anne. But the yeah. handle looks nice and old too, you yeah. know? And the other um, painted basket that I have, uh, not from the estate sale. Oh, this was my other piece that I went all the way to hunt for. It was a different type of blue. I think it's an original blue. And, and again, um, I, I have quite a bit of these uh, bale handle pantry boxes, as you can see along the edge. And do I have enough now? So I'm starting to, to question myself again. When is enough enough? All right, so we're back and we're going to look at some of the other baskets. Now, this one I picked up um, at a little consignment shop. I think it was like eight dollars. I don't I just had to have it for some reason because I'm, I'm on to baskets. But my grandchildren will just love to put their toys in it. They can't break it. It's, it's $8. Mm -hmm. You could put it in the bathroom, behind the toilet, with like little towels in it. We could do a 100 different things with this. Okay, so um, that's one. This one's a little swing basket. I don't think it's from like 1800s. No, I don't think so, but it's a, it looks like it's a well-made basket. Yes, like a, a, a higher-end repro, mm -hmm. but I love the color, and again, that could be with Americana very easily. Mm -hmm. Same with this one. We got black on the outside. Um, it's kind of got like little feet at the bottom it of it. Have... See the little four feet, but I love the red inside. red inside. So you could tip it up. And, and who knows if it started out? That way, who knows? You know, you who knows? Know. You just don't know. And this one's still a little dirty inside. I'm, I'm afraid to scrub them too, too much. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I don't want to take the paint off of them or they'll chip too. Mm -hmm. yeah. This one I think is one of the oldest and this is the original swing handle on it. Mm -hmm. I'm in love with this one. And uh, did I put the, I think these are, oh, I thought I had radishes. But again, I just mixed them. They're just dried, a little pear. I don't know, if I find the radishes along the way, I'll and, show and you. And displaying them, I mean, if you have peg racks, you can hang them on that. Or, you know, even if you decided one day you're going to take all your boxes and put all the baskets up, even with nothing in them, they're just really visually beautiful. They have the texture, right. um, the colors. Yeah. And Love then them. I was at, I don't know, another estate sale somewhere, and this is an antique egg basket. I love it. Mm, I love, love it. That. So um, our new chickens aren't laying eggs yet, but I could picture Tim maybe going out there and maybe putting <laughs> his eggs in or just having them on the counter somewhere. Yes, very, yep. Just very simple. Just, mm -hmm. But we're just really just looking at it, and my grandchildren did play with this basket yeah. a lot. This one I just found at Burnett Antiques. I love that. I think this yeah. might go down to the Cape. Love it. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it again. Probably didn't need it, but I, I just mm -hmm. wanted it. So that's I a new basket. It looks like it has blue and is it red or like a, yeah, like a red burgundy. Blue, right? Yeah. yeah it's, I love that. So I could put uh, the kids' watering toys in here mm -hmm. and by the side of their watering table down at my Cape House. That's where I think that's going to go. Yeah. All right. So we're back in my mud room or what I call my mud room, my entrance room. And when I was up in the attic, I just found this uh, really cool antique doll that I didn't know I had. She's holding pears. She's kind of got mustard legs. And I, I think this is going to be one of the items going to the shop live with Ooh, Anne. Nice. A lot of women call me all the time. What do you have for handmade clothing, mm -hmm. dolls? Mm -hmm. So I think I'm not even going to look at it. I'm not going to keep it. It's got to go. If you look too closely, you want to keep it. Exactly. Yes, exactly. So this Love is, um, so now we're going to go over some of my bigger baskets. Love that. This is a potato basket that you'd normally find up in Maine. Mm hmm and I forgot, we, everyone's in love with tobacco baskets. Yeah. And that's one that you'd use on the field. It's very heavy. I believe it or not, I only have it up with two or three nails. Um, I'll usually throw a different wreath in for seasonal, but for now, for the summer, I just kind of left it bare. So just enjoy the basket. 
and uh, other things that are around it. Like Alice said, mm -hmm. sometimes I didn't notice what you actually have for antiques because if it's fall or Christmas, you I'm all decorated. Thing. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, all right, I'm getting off track. So this is the big <laughs> potato basket <laughs> uh, from up in Maine. And this now these are called hunter baskets. Mm. Now we've seen these a lot. You could find them in Maine, Vermont. Mm -hmm. So um, I usually hang this one on the door where I have the, the children's toys in. Mm -hmm. And I'll, I'll change them out seasonal. I just yeah. found some of these upstairs. Mm -hmm. And again, this one's not painted. I'll I'll just leave it. But let me get to the other story. Leather, leather straps or fabric? Fabric. Fabric straps. They're almost like a military yeah. strap. Mm -hmm. So this was one that I had. So this is a Eleni story here. This was a natural color, just like that one. I had um, what's the flower at Christmas? The red ones. Poinsettias. I had poinsettias in this basket. I had it out on the door. They were velvet, and they bled on the basket. I got oh. so sad. I'm like, I just ruined at least a hundred dollar basket. Threw this up in my attic and it sat there for two years. So now I watched the Pinterest video. So a girl that I know took this basket for me, took the straps down, stained it all, and then she painted over. I'm in love with this mm. basket. Coming out of the estate seal, all these greens. I don't have to do anything. This is ready to be hung up for Christmas in my house. It, it'll be in a Christmas video. So, love it. I'm telling you, get all these old baskets. Go to a Sabres. Go to Salvation Army. Get the, mm -hmm. and, and paint them. I'm in love. If I had more time, I'm telling you right now, I'd be painting baskets. I'm just so in you love. Don't have time, lady. I'm trying to make time, and I'm going to do one. When I do one in, I'm going to have someone take a quick video or a picture, and I'm going to show that if I can do it, anybody can do this. Okay? So this one was, I don't know, I really, I like I, this one. It's great. I do like it. Yeah. So, all right, so we got that one. And then this one, all kinds of baskets. This one has been at Bumpkins. I just ripped it down from my attic. Yeah, we forget what like what size. I would use this at Bumpkins to put all the gourds in, so ladies can or gentlemen can dig through. And um, I want to do a shout out to three men that have come into my life in the shop. One is John. Um, I get a lot of women. I don't get men. And in this month in June, I have three wonderful men. So hello, John. Another gentleman. His name is Garrett. Um, and he took the time and we were talking about my knee. I just had a cortisone injection. He was very nice to me and you don't know, you meet new people and they come into your lives and, and they're so kind. So hello Garrett and uh, his wife Sandy and then um, Bernie. Bernie drove his wife up from New Jersey to come to Bumpkins. They oh. see me on the Ann Clay video wow. and he let her shop. And then he went out and he was resting in the car and I said, I'm coming out with you. And she goes, you don't have to. I go, oh yeah, I gotta say bye to Bernie. <laughs> he was just so cute and oh. nice. And, and, I, and they told me stories. I always ask, how'd you two meet? Like how long you've been married? And I love the romance of how people met. And um, I don't know, maybe I'm, I'm a true romantic. So but. We're, I'm just diverting just a minute, but we're okay. talking about people that you meet. Remember the couple from uh, New York came down? Was her name Shelly? I think her name was Shelly. And you called... Um, it's not Linda and Alan who we did no, a surprise. No, it's not Linda and the Alan. They came down and you called Mel and surprised them at the shop. Yes. Anyways, at Walker Homestead, I met them. You did. And they, oh. they came over. You're Alice, yes. And then I, uh, someone else that I had met also at um, the store, Primitive Goods, came over and talked to me. And it was wow. so funny because I was saying, I wonder if I'm going to see any, I wonder if I'll see anybody that watches your videos because I know you did that last year. Mm -hmm. Sure enough, had wow. a nice long chat with them. And um, the booth that I bought my candlesticks that I will tell you about the next time I see you. Uh, she had some beautiful painted bowls, and they asked me, which one would you buy? And there were two blue ones. I said, well, I'd go with the nib one. And they're like, well, do you want it? I go, no, I, I just bought these. I don't, you know. <laughs> but if that I was going to, nice. which one would you buy? And then they bought it, and they were just thrilled. That's so And they great. were just a, a nice couple. That women. is we so great. We were just chatting for an hour over the course of being in the different booths, right. you know. But that was fun. Which was so reminds fun. me, we were going to have a meetup, and someone contacted me. They're going to be in Concord, I think, in September. 
So I did think we could maybe do a meetup. Yeah, September should be. Okay. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Are we call, yeah, you want to call it a meetup or a meet and greet? Meet and greet, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm on board. We just want to get together and sit historical. down. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. We just talked yeah. about this. No more talking. You, you have to we say have to we're do doing it. it. I know. And as soon as you have that idea in your head that then you're doing it, then things we need just, to just do rolling. it. That's then you true. actually, it's, it's an idea and then you're going with it. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. So yeah. did you show them the cover? We're going to look at the cover okay. and we're going to just do the, the before and after okay. and then and, um, and I'll wander and pull things. Yeah, and okay. I hope everyone loved this video and then you're going to see me down at a condo mm -hmm. and um, I've been doing a lot of landscaping so we're going to walk around today. Oh, I can't wait. Mm -hmm. I haven't and, uh, seen them so I'm excited. Yeah, Alice. I haven't seen them at all. You haven't seen them at all? Only in the video but that's no, just, it's that's different. That's not the same. Yeah. Yes. yeah. So I'm excited. Cool. So I'm hoping everyone's going to enjoy that and uh, I don't know, maybe I'll change my shirt to do a, a wardrobe <laughs> change up too because Alice looks so nice. So uh, I'm not stay, changing. Stay, I stay tuned part two. Okay. Okay. Well, let's right. look at the cupboard real let's quick. Look at the cupboard. Before and after. And I think that's um, David Smith. Oh, Potter. Oh, okay. Is, am I saying it right? Tur uh, David Turtle T. Creek. Smith. Yes. Turtle, yeah. Creek. Turtle Creek. Yeah. And you can you can change it up. You yeah. can. Right. Okay, okay. empty shelves. All right. So then, Alice is going to fill them you, with things in Lainey's house. Do it fairly quickly, so you because mm -hmm. you know, yeah. you're you're, you're going to have a break. Yep. Okay. Cool. All right. Now, what if I take some things from the top? Whatever you want to okay. do. You give me free reign here. And I, I really I did, love these. I did have um, a fetish with watering cans at yeah. one point, and I have yeah. parted with about 15 or 20. Wow. And um, I just came up with this idea that, hey, let's just throw them up on the pegs yeah. this year, something different. Yeah. I always love your bowls on the pegs, too. Yes, I love that. I love that. I love, that. That. I love that. that look. Yeah. Yeah. I love the pegs. I love their, that it's long and it takes up this hallway that would normally just be kind of a forgotten area, right? It's exactly. just a tiny or little hallway. Like, what can I put up here for pictures? Right. But you don't, this is, this is your artwork. And let's just say, she's got that, that's a door behind there and you've got that covered because you don't use that door anyway. So there's no reason you can't cover it up. Right, and I just, I, I can't part with that cupboard yet. That was in that foyer for four years since I've moved in. Mm -hmm. It was at my other house. Mm -hmm. And um, I just said, you know what, I'm going to build. I'm just going to put it there for now. And it doesn't seem to bother yeah, anybody because we can... don't use that door. And I don't think you'd ever want to part with that because I can see it's someone or maybe even you have had it up on a wall. Yes. You know, it's so versatile. I have to get a feel for what I want to do here. Those were the painted tins that I couldn't find. I don't even know where you found them. Oh, I remember. I was trying well, to find I, it. Well, because it was behind the closed door in the in the cupboard. Oh, okay, perfect. But I love the colors. Mm -hmm. This is a piece of old redware, mm -hmm. hidden. hidden, hidden, Laney. Yeah, I didn't know I owned it. And then this, this is just <laughs> a. I don't know. This is. I, this is something about this. I just like it. It but looks like weight. I mean, well, it's not, but it's a spool. <laughs> but, yeah. Well, we'll see if I like it in the cupboard. Okay. okay so I'm going to just go kind of play, and then I might go pull some more things. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So I'm heading on down. <laughs> hey, you. Hey. <laughs> so I'm, I'm doing a, 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 a change reveal. Yes. So I just forgot I want, so we're going to do a door reveal. Oh, okay. I forgot that I changed my outfit to, to go down to the condos. I was trying to match Alice. <laughs> She's got it like a genie. Ah. So, <laughs> You're yeah. matching. You look really yeah. cute. So, all right, are we ready to, to see uh -huh. what's in this? I don't think I've ever showed what's in this cabinet. So, um, I have brownware right now. And this is like junk. I, I Not junk, but things that I use. New socks for the kids when they come over. A bathing suit. We got a sun hat right now. And, of course, pull-ups. Uh, from my two-year-old granddaughter who we're potty training right now. So <laughs> when I need something very quickly, instead of running upstairs to their room, this is things they always need socks. If they're going home, they don't want to use their shoes. I, I always have uh, slippers. Mm -hmm. um, I am French, so we call them poupons. Mm. Um, so I'm teaching them that those are poupons. And of course, more vintage toys. Who wouldn't just want a, a barrel, barrel of monkeys? Who, why? Winnie Lane or Lane? Everyone needs a barrel, needs a barrel of, of monkeys. So um, I'm not sure. I might part with some brownware. So I'm trying to collect it and get it all in one area. Mm -hmm. And maybe part with a couple pieces. 
pieces and see what what I own. Mm -hmm. so okay. Anyway, that was my reveal. It's not Beautiful. too bad. Have, no, it's not bad. Of course, this is just my my bucket of play doh. Okay. So we gotta have play doh at, oh, at Gammy's house. You're the quintessential grandma. And then you know, like the treasure box. Mm -hmm. and I don't even know what's in there. Oh, what do we got? What do we got down here? Oh, we we just got another. Uh, oh um, yeah. Uh, a, a trencher tr with a bunch of stuff. Trencher is uh, like just a very old wood bowl. I probably had this at least 15 years. Wow. So I guess this is something that I love, but I didn't need it right now. Right. So we just tucked it in. Tucked you it need away. those places. You do need those places. And I don't know if you played this when you were a kid. This is Bargain Hunter. I never did. It's a shopping game. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe some of your viewers um, played Bargain Hunter or maybe they will now. So um, yeah, I'm, in, I'm into board games too when I have time. Wow. And then that's it. We, we close it up. You won't even know what's in there. Wow. It's so, amazing. I'm like a magician. You just kind of hide things. <laughs> so, uh, see, it's not a, if my daughter's watching this, Samantha, it's not a museum. You just saw we got real it's not live a museum. things in there. Kids it's just say. behind closed doors. Exactly. And when the kids come, it's certainly not a museum. Right. And I'm not here filming when the kids are here. You know. Yeah. And then I'm going to talk about something real quick that I'm working on this summer. Okay. And um, they're called, help me out, is it a cloche or a cloche? Cloche. So my oldest daughter, again, Samantha, loves cloches. I didn't realize that I owned a couple myself, but when I was at auction, I bought this one. Okay. Um, it didn't come with a bottom, though. So people who don't know what they are, they usually have like a stand, a wooden stand, mm. or... But you're telling me, too, if they're in gardens... Yeah, they're mm. to protect the delicate plants in early right. spring. Right, but were they, they were in the dirt? Did they put them in the dirt they or just, on a stone? No, they just put them right over the plant. But what like goes under the plant? Like, is it on the, the ground? ground? The plant in the ground. In the ground. So it's just like a terrarium. Like, yeah. yeah. In it, yeah. Or a greenhouse. Exactly. Okay. So Samantha loves this. Okay. So when this came up at auction, I didn't care. I go, my daughter's getting that. I get, mm. I've never seen one with the bigger ball at the top. So um, then a few months ago, I didn't realize that I bought this for my younger daughter. She's uh, thinking about what she wants to put in her house right. one day. She's still living here. We right. don't see her room. It's in the, the downstairs. But this is so her, more of the vintage green. And it, uh, I had to buy the bottom separate. This came out of the, the cape. Mm -hmm. And then I just threw a little plant in here. But to me, this would be a wire cloche. Yeah, it's adorable. It's kind of on the same concept, right? I, I need a tall person. Okay. Oh, that would be me, I guess. All right. And okay. then Show this one, this, this one. is a repro, mm -hmm. and it came from either a Marshalls or a TJ's. Mm -hmm. I purchased it to decorate the condos, and I had a turkey in it. Right now, I just have the purple uh, lavender in it. Mm -hmm. uh, but Alice was just talking to me prior about doing Christmas things in it. Oh, she yeah. Just like do a little village or something. Yeah. I'm, I'm tall, Alice. And you, what can I well, do? She's what can tall. I <laughs> <laughs> Look at you two little shrimps. All the others. Oh, of course. So, Alice, well, I was going to do that, but I, that's what I would do. Oh, at home. my goodness. But that's what I do at home. All right. So, I just want this one. It's all yours. And then I'm all done. All right. Oh, I can't wait to see oh. how Alice Don't decorated <laughs> um, my little cabinet. Well, it looks different. So. Okay, that's what we want, different. All right. Where'd you get this little teeny dress? I keep looking at that. Um, again, an estate sale. Aww, I, so I don't know cute. much about it. I don't know if it's handmade, but it's adorable. It's adorable. And I had it up so last cute. year. I just don't remember if I had it in the kids' room at the time. Oh, it's cute. So I can't wait right. to see what Alice has done. What have we done, Alice? <laughs> don't get that excited, but it looks different. Okay. <laughs> well, it was empty, so it should be different. <laughs> <laughs> I, had, I just went and I opened drawers and pulled things out. And that's the great thing with so many things to choose from. So I tried to put... Uh, fabric and and the drives obviously in with wood and some red wear and some painted tin mm -hmm. and different heights and so you'll see okay let's see all right let's go all right. go let's, oh oh let's you go. go first oh all right let's go you go first <laughs> Ta -da. Ta -da. let's see what it is oh okay <clears throat> it looks adorable 
I love it. And you decided to keep both doors open to yes, really I did. use it. And then and then hang things over the doors for more texture. Mm -hmm. So I pulled things that I love. Pretty much everything's old in there that I pulled. The tinware, the yellowware, the wood, the well, pantry you even, boxes. You, even did, you found one of my little, um, this I was did. to cut candles. Yep. And uh, that reminds the wick. me of, the, you know, the tin... Yep. Sort of. Oh, I forgot I own this one. This this is my yeah. newest candlestick. I took that off your candle display. It says 1853 on the handle. Wow. <laughs> you think that's really the year? Yes. Wow. So I, but it doesn't have the no. the knot at the bottom. No. So this is the the newer of the old, but that would be that the dates right. I yes. mean, for, I mean, 1853 yeah. is pretty 18, old no, that's to me. That's and it has that. And it has the date, which is great. It's at 170 years old. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a that's a new piece for me. Mm. So I'm gonna keep yeah. that one for a little bit. But yeah, I love it. I love you added but a cutting board. I would have never thought that was covered up, up, and it's such a beautiful piece. Mm. Um, and obviously paint. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you kept the pottery because. I'm into that. Is this a radish? I've been hunting for the radishes. No, I, I took some I things out this. of one of your bowls. That's fine. In the kitchen. Oh, I, did, I didn't even know I had this little bowl. Yeah, this that, is that's kind of cool. That's an old redware bowl, as as well as the plate standing up on the right is an old redware plate. Okay. Uh, with the, the Turtle Creek. Uh, I love it. I love I how love that the, pops the off that. With, yeah, so it jumps out. Um, and then the tin piece is painted. I guess on the top, I, I made your little um, pantry box stacks come down a little bit. Okay, perfect. And then I put them on the bottom. Okay. Yeah. yeah so. And this is a new crock for me. I love that crock. Um, she loved the shape of it, and mm. that that came out of uh, New Jersey yeah. also. Oh, and I did put the birdhouse up on top of that. Were you down in Morristown or something yeah. down South Jersey? I forget the name of the town, I but I can look it up and let you know. But you're not even going to know where I took half the stuff because there's so many things. and Right. That's and why I think if we part with at least 15 items, I'm not going to know what's no. missing here. No. I thought it was 25. <laughs> She's killing me. She, let's not listen to her. Let's walk away from her. <laughs> just get, just no. take things that are in the cabinet so I don't remember 15, the name. 15 and 5 for Ian. <laughs> <laughs> And look at I even I even have some artwork up. So this is an antique, and my grandchildren made these. Oh, and Aria so and Rory. So oh. did you do that with them? Or did they do it at pre? Preschool? They they did it at their where they go oh. to daycare. Yeah. So I change so out the artwork here of when course. they bring something new in. Yeah. And uh, that's cute. Great. So yeah. cute. And we're we're learning about antiques here. Mm -hmm. So they might not know yeah. what um. Well, I don't know what a swing, all the swing baskets are, but they know that it's yeah. an antique basket. Mm -hmm. We're talking about Crocs. And when they're older, those same things are going to bring back those same memories yeah. for them. Right. Oh, I remember I used this with my Grammy. Yeah, right. And I, one other thing about Eddie is that I wanted to tell you the, the man that yeah. I, I just thought was adorable. Eddie's 28 years old. Mm -hmm. He's owned his own estate company, I, I think, for at least seven years now. So he's very, very young. And he's like the generation after me now. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I said to him, how did you get involved in all these things? And he said, the same way you did. You, you found something, you wanted to purchase it, maybe sell it, and you're repurposing it, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. you're giving it another home, another life. And he said that when he was little, his father was a police, is a police officer, but mm -hmm. he's retired now. And um, he said he worked a lot on the weekends. And... My mom said, let's just go out gallivanting. Mm -hmm. And yeah. she would take him, and he said, it didn't really start with antiques. He, it could have been a toy. Yeah. He'd buy yeah. it for five, and he'd sell it to a friend or trade a friend for seven, and he'd work for his money, and then he'd have it to go spend. And yeah. that brought a memory back to me because I really started young with yard sales. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, come to find out, his mother and father now, who are both retired, run the estate sale with him. So that man who was gathering my items and put them in a bathroom was a police officer mm -hmm. who now just loves to be with people. Mm -hmm. And I just I fell in love with the family mm -hmm. instantly. 
Mm -hmm. And yeah. then he was interested about me, like, well, what kind of things do you have at your store? And, and yeah. this and that. Mm -hmm. and I could tell in some of the companies that were there, like uh, Primers by Kathy and if it was old. So I knew a little bit more about the product than he did sometimes. And he's like, well, why aren't you interested in maybe that bowl? I'm like, well, it's a repro. Right. Or I, mm -hmm. I don't think I could sell it. Mm -hmm. So we were kind of like teaching each yeah. other. Um, a lot. I even brought in pizza for him wow. um, because he didn't want to cash me out until the end of the day. Wow. So I spent the whole day with this mm. family and um, I'm hoping that I can go back with him if he gets another old house. He's, he's got my number on speaker. So, yeah, so I'm wondering how do they know how to price things if they don't really know what's old and what's new right now? He said he does a lot of research. Okay. He'll look it up on eBay. Mm -hmm. and sometimes I had to um, talk with him saying, okay, well, eBay might have had this for $75. Yeah, but I'm then... bumpkins. I'm not selling that for $75. Right. right. So either he would come down a little bit on the price, mm -hmm. but then other things I thought he priced very fairly. Okay. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. he would just say to me, if you want it, just say yes, and it went to another box or a table, mm -hmm. and if not, no, and it went right back in the house for the next day. Okay. Mm -hmm. So wow. he was great with me, but you know, every estate sale, as you know, Alice, mm -hmm. yeah. they run them differently. Yeah, they do, yeah. They do, I think they do try to do research, because obviously they're doing it for somebody at sure. estate sale. Um, but usually, especially the second day, a lot of times you can see if they can give you a better deal because yes. they really don't want a lot of things left. Right. You know? Um, but you also learn a lot. Like you, you know, like you said, you were bouncing information, you were exchanging information. And that's, I think, is a great thing because, you know, he probably learned some things, you probably learned some things. Everywhere you go, you can pick up new bits of information. Yeah. I have, I bought a whole collection of beers, and they look like Stein beers, and they're going to be coming into Bumpkins for Christmas. Mm -hmm. I looked up the company, we can't find them, they're called Diane's Beers. Mm. Oh. The lady who traveled to meet me from your show, mm -hmm. and um, her name's Eileen, she owned a country store, she's from New Jersey, she's now asking around, was this a local woman who just did handmade beers? And I'm thrilled that Country Bumpkins is offering something that one, I've never seen before. Mm -hmm. right. Two, I don't know where you can purchase one or if you right. ever can. Right. I can't find them on eBay or anywhere. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I have a very unique product that's coming in at Christmas time. Okay, cool. And they're doing research mm -hmm. for me. And I yeah. would have never met that woman, mm -hmm. right. if it, again, if it wasn't for your show. Well, we yeah. love our viewers, we don't do. we? Yes. We love you guys. Yeah. And, and I know the viewers are always wondering like what you're wearing and your jewelry. <laughs> and Lainey, I keep <laughs> looking at your necklace. What did because I put on? Oh, it's the whale's tail. tail. It's so cool. Where do you get a whale's tail like that? Um, a consignment store in Yarmouth down at the Cape. Oh, that is so it's cool. It's called the Picket Fence. Okay. So if you're ever down mm -hmm. there, you could go there. And then I'm wearing the earrings because one of your viewers, when they call the shop, they're like, I love your earrings. These came from Wright's Farm. It's a, it's a chicken restaurant yeah, and they gift it shop. Is. <laughs> so this one is the arrow. Okay. And then oh. the arrow goes through my heart. Oh, oh my goodness. Love, love. So I wear these a lot lately. And then what about um, the what about the bracelets? Okay, so this oh, is wait, this is an wheel. Eden's yeah. um, that's hand done in Dennis in the Cape. And this is a whale's tail that I found at the purple pineapple. Hmm. And that is a Newport. Mm. Are these little turtles? These are, yeah, this is all sterling silver, oh. and I found this in my last trip in Aruba. Oh. And I usually don't wear turtles, so that's new. And then this came from a... <laughs> this, that this sounds so funny. Yeah. I don't wear Take turtles. Out of context. Yeah. I don't usually collect turtles. I'm more whales because of the house in the Cape. Right, right. And then this piece came from Sassy Fox that Mel oh, shops at. Oh, if yeah. this is Mel's, oh. I will lose it. Yeah, yeah, right? I had the pocketbook that was Mel's. That's right. Um, but I, I have quite a collection of bracelets. Yeah. Um, so we're not going to get into that. <laughs> that's but for another day. That's for yes. a whole other day. But yes. yeah, so this is another, a new, this is a new piece. But I think that like I might have paid eight dollars for that. Wow! Yeah. Wow! And that's a great store. Yeah. yeah. So they do the markdowns. So people, we're going to go to the condo, yes. and we are going to be. So this will probably get out tomorrow. This video, maybe tonight. And so everybody who's watching this right away live on Thursday night at yes. 6 o'clock yep. at Country Bunkins. Mm -hmm. We will all be there. Yes. And I will be back from Pennsylvania in time to, to do that shop live. <laughs> and those boxes will be open. You're staying and overnight in Pennsylvania, I hope. I'm going to stay tonight and tomorrow night. Okay. And um, Oh, my goodness. Yeah. 
don't know how you do it. I don't either. Okay, thank you, everybody. <laughs> Bye, Bye everybody. everybody.